Hello everyone. Richard Taylor. I'm a it's Alina again. Um, yeah, so here I took out the squash that I had uh, baked for two hours in the previous step with spice on top of it, a little bit of oil. And I put it in here, basically you're just scooping it out with a, you know, with a spoon, like so, and put it in. And if it's not cooked, like this part is a little bit hard, I guess it was a bigger piece, because the little one came out fine. Then you just put it again for 350, I don't know, for another 10 minutes or so. So I'm gonna put that, put this piece back, because a little bit, uh, even though it was cooked for two hours. I'm gonna put this back. This one is fine. I can just scrape off the extra stuff off of it. I'm gonna put this back in the oven for about, I don't know, 10 minutes at 350, so it gets cooked. And then um, just have to like, sc sc scrape this off. Um, you probably could, I guess, skin it before you cut it. That will make your job easier. But skinning the uh, butternut squash is very hard unless you use, I don't know, a different technique. Maybe um, you can use a potato peeler or something. I haven't tried it. So once I figure that out, I'll teach you guys. But anyway, just that's how you do it. You just scrape it like so. Get all the meat out. And then put it in your pan. You know, so I guess you can just do this. You don't want to use your hands. But um, that's it. So, uh, and then you throw these out. I uh, grew up very poor, so I don't like to waste food. So I'm going to get every bit of <laughs> this squash that's in here um, to eat. Not the skins, of course. Let the skin take that off. Uh, that's it. So good luck. I hope you enjoy it. This is really tasty. Like I said, it'll be good with some cheese or by itself. Uh, and I've had it with uh, sour cream. It's delicious. Um, we don't have butternut squash in my country, so I had to learn how to cook this. My daughter told me just to bake it in the oven, but at, you know, 350. And, uh, that's it. So I guess that's end up that one. And, uh, good luck to you guys. Enjoy. You know, the spices, you can mix it up. If you need more spice, you can add some more. Otherwise, it's just uh, ready to go. Mmm. That's so good. You can put a little bit of cinnamon in it too, because it is a little bit sweet. Or you can make it savory if you wanted to, you know, add the sour cream and more salt, a little bit of pepper. But that's it. Have a great day and um, enjoy the dish. Bye-bye.